Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Delaware pool party takes sudden unexpected turn after burka-clad swimmers show up. It's now being reported that a municipal swimming pool in Delaware is under heavy scrutiny after Muslim children were asked to stay out of the water because of their clothing. Tishan Ismail who runs a summer Arabic enrichment program and sometimes takes campers to the Foster Brown Public Pool in Wilmington is now saying that some of her campers were asked to leave the pool because they were wearing shorts and headscarves instead of the normal attire the civilized world wears to a pool. She claims that this was one of four incidents in which the kids were told not to wear the clothing, which of course is part of their religious observance, at the pool. Here is more on this via NBC10. A municipal swimming pool in Delaware is under scrutiny after Muslim children were asked to stay out of the water because of their clothing. Tishan Ismail runs a summer Arabic enrichment program, and sometimes takes campers to the Foster Brown Public Pool in Wilmington. Ismail says some of her campers were asked to leave the pool on June 25 because they were wearing cotton shirts, shorts and headscarves. It was one of four incidents in which the kids were told not to wear the clothing, which is part of their religious observance, at the pool. According to Ismail, we were harassed on four separate occasions, she said. She tapped several of them, like four little girls, tapped them and told them to get out of the pool. Ismail said that the rule against wearing cotton in the pool is not published anywhere and is being enforced in a discriminatory way against her kids. If it's a policy I said it has to be posted and it has to be applied across the board and not arbitrarily, she said. An official in Mayor Mike Przyzyki's office initially said cotton poses a safety risk because it becomes heavy when wet and because it strains the pool's filtration system. On Saturday however, Mayor Przyzyki sent out a statement saying it was wrong of the city to ask children of the Muslim faith to leave a city pool because of religious-related clothing they were wearing. The mayor said the city used poor judgment in how they assessed and reacted to the situation. We should be held accountable for what happened and how poorly we assessed this incident, Mayor Przyzyki said. I apologize to the children who were directed to leave a city pool because of the religious required clothing they were wearing. We also referred to vaguely worded pool policies to assess and then justify our poor judgment, and that was also wrong. The mayor said he hopes to meet with the children and their camp director soon so that he can address their concerns and apologize directly. He also assured residents that religious-related garb is allowed in Wilmington pools. Ismail said she was happy about the mayor's statement. I want to show the kids that you persevere, she said. You don't quit. Although it's a clearly posted policy at the pool that you can wear certain attire Ismail is claiming that the rule against wearing cotton in the pool is not published anywhere and is being enforced in a discriminatory way against her kids when several of them, even four little girls, were told to get out of the pool. An official in Mayor Mike Przyzyki's office initially said had confirmed that cotton poses a serious safety risk because it becomes heavy when wet and because it strains the pool's filtration system. On Saturday, however, Mayor Perzaki gave in to the threat of being labeled an Islamophobe and sent out a statement saying it was wrong of the city to ask children of the Muslim faith to leave a city pool because of religious-related clothing they were wearing. Later adding that the city used poor judgment in how they assessed and reacted to the situation and came to the conclusion that the pool policies were vaguely worded and that he hopes to meet with the children and their camp director soon so that he can address their concerns and apologize directly. Ismail later added that she was happy with the mayor's statement and said, I want to show the kids that you persevere, she said. You don't quit. Yeah, there is nothing like the threat of being called a racist or a bigot for the weak, meanwhile, these people refuse to enter the 21st century and endanger their own children by wearing cotton at a public pool. I wonder how long it will be until we as freedom-loving Americans are shamed into wearing headscarfs out of solidarity and to prove we aren't racist against a cult that preaches the killing of those who don't believe? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.